Hello everyone, my name is Arani and welcome to another episode of Make It Yourself. For this week's episode, we will be creating our very own fossil molds together. So I would like to show you how we can create this fossil mold together just using three simple ingredients. It's a very easy exercise and I also think it's a great way for children to get creative and make prints of the different things that they can find around the home. With this exercise, you can choose to draw your own prints that you see on the fossil, or you can use toys to make the imprint of those that you put on the fossil. As well, you can also choose to use your own hands or feet or fingertips or anything you would like to make the imprint on the dough before we cook it. So this does involve us baking the dough once we are finished creating our masterpiece. We will have to put it into the oven just for a short time, just to let the dough harden so that our imprint can show better. So, let me tell you what you will need in order to make this creation. We will need some table salt. We will also need some all-purpose flour. We will also need some warm water. I've already boiled the water in the kettle ahead of time and let it sit so that the water isn't too hot when we start mixing our ingredients. So I would recommend that if you are working on this with your child, boil the water ahead of time so that it's not too hot when you're using your hands to mix the ingredients together. So I let it sit so it's nice and warm now for us to start this activity. We will need one cup measurement as well as a half a cup measurement. We will also need something to mix our ingredients with. So you can use a spatula if you have or you could use a fork or you could even use a spoon. There is no real technique to the mixing here. We just need to mix the three ingredients together so whatever you have at home is okay to use. And lastly we will need a baking tray. So any size baking tray is fine, as well as parchment paper or any type of non-stick paper. This is to make sure that the dough that we place into the oven does not stick to the tray while it's hardening inside the oven. Okay, let's get started. In the next clip, I will show you how we can mix the dough together and then how we can create our very own fossils. So we will start by adding one cup of flour. And to that, we will add half a cup of warm water. And one cup of salt.
now that that's ready, you're going to take a piece. So this is obviously more than enough. So um, you can probably make three different molds with this. You can divide it up into as many pieces as you will need. Because I'm going to be using my hand to make a mold and I do have bigger hands, I'm going to flatten it out and I'm gonna use a bigger piece that way. So if you are doing your child's hand, you obviously wouldn't need such a big piece, but depending on what you would like to mold, you will use different size of dough. So again, I will be using my hand, so I'm going to make it big enough. You also want to make sure that your dough isn't too thick. Again, like I mentioned earlier, if it's too thick, it will cook in the oven and we're not going to be eating this, so we don't really want it to cook too much. Um, so I'm going to make sure it's thin enough, not too thin that it will burn, but also not too thick that it will cook inside. So if you have a rolling pin, now is a great time to be using a rolly, rolling pin. I'm just using my hands because it's fun to get dirty, I think, but some people prefer to use a rolling pin. That way you can make sure you get the right texture as well. Um, and you want to make sure that it's leveled. And then, uh, now is the fun part. Now is when you will imprint your hands or whatever it is that you are using. Some people can, will also like to imprint toys. So if your child has a favorite toy, you can get uh, toys and make prints of toys and then you, they will also turn into fossils once you are done. I'm using my hand, so I'm gonna put my hand down and press. So if you're using your child's hand or your child's feet, you will have to press it in because just placing it on top of the dough will not be enough. You'll have to make sure you press it in and make that indent. Push, push. Again, if you're using, for example, um, dinosaur toys or cars or making imprints of cars, just press it in enough that it makes a print. Okay, let's reveal. Ooh. There you go, there's my hand. So you can see my hand on there. So I do see that some parts of it I don't think I pressed it enough, so I'm gonna go back and just press again. Just on those spots. There you go, that looks a bit better. Now here, if I think I pressed too hard with my thumb, so you can fix it out just by connecting it. There you go, and then reprint. So that is what will be going into the oven. Um, you can also go ahead and make some cool designs on the outside. So I'm going to flatten this out a bit more. And I'm going to just push it in together so that it's a round circle. You can use a fork along the outside. We could even go like this and make some designs. Or you can even just use your fingers and just make a design going outwards. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go around my circle and just use my thumb just to make a design. And the neat part of the, about this is if you make a mistake, you can just roll it back together and restart. You don't have to worry about throwing it out or getting rid of it and then gently peel off your counter. Um, it might be a better idea just to work on the surface of your tray so you don't have to worry about transferring. So I've placed it on my tray so that when it goes into the oven, it's ready. So I was suggesting maybe we can also try working on the tray itself so that you don't have to worry about transferring it over. It makes for less of a mess. So I'm just going to roll it back up just to make sure it's still soft and then I'm going to I'm going to take a smaller piece this time and here we go we're gonna flatten it out So I like the shape of the size of this one. It is um, 
smaller than the first one. So with this one, I think I'm going to make some different designs. I'm going to use a fork. And remember, be creative and use anything you have at home. You can use um, any sort of Play-Doh utensils you might have. You can work with pencils. You can also work with um, cutters that you may have or just use different toys and see what different prints that it will make. Another great idea is also making this a fossil, so turning this into a science experiment and imprinting dinosaur bones or creating what you think may dinosaur bones may look like and making that print and then when it dries up, it will look like a fossil. So with this one, I'm just going to write the letter A for Arani. So before we go and put our dough into the oven, I do want to say that if you would like to create these as ornaments, for, as keepsake for later on, and save it so that you could hang from, uh, hang somewhere in the home or anywhere you would like, you can make a hole at the top of your dough, and the easiest way to do that is using a straw. You can use any type of straw. I do have a metal straw that I'll be using, um, but I would suggest using a straw, or if you would like, if you feel comfortable, you can just pierce the hole through there uh, using a pencil or with a knife or even with your fingers if you would like. So I'm going to just poke a hole over here and just poke right through and then bring it back out. So now that you can see there's a hole so that if I were to hang this as an ornament later on, I can do so. And I'm also going to do that here. And I'm going to poke a hole right here and go right through it. There you go. So now we are going to preheat the oven to 300 degrees and we are going to bake it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. 